What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can remove all the demos from your Steam account, which should help you a lot, especially if you've been idling for drops, etc. Over the latest Steam event, the next fest, June 2022, you had to download a demo and play it in order to get a level on a badge. You could do this a thousand plus times to get a thousand plus levels on said badge. And to speed up the process, I created this open source tool here, the Techno Mass Steam Idler, that activates a ton of free Steam IDs and idles them for a couple of seconds each, getting you a new level on that badge. You can see over here that there were 1,200 app IDs at one stage, which is a huge long list, especially if you activate all of these demos in your account. The only issue is, you come across to Steam, you search for a demo, and these are all of the demos on your account. There's 1,400 or so on my account here now, right after this event. Of course, you don't want these cluttering up your library, especially if you use Steam often for more than just leveling up your account or whatever, so you'd want to get rid of all of these demos, though you don't know how. Well, there's two ways to do it, one manual and one automatic using the same web page. In the description down below, you'll find store.steampowered.com slash account slash licenses. On this page here, you'll see all of the recently activated games for your account from today, all the way back down to practically when you created the account. However, if I simply search for space demo to find all of the demo games, you'll see that between the 20th and all the way down here to the 14th, I activated thousands of demos. And in fact, I have 1,244 here, Recently, I did remove a couple hundred of them, so this was even more. You can simply click Remove and click OK to confirm removing an entry. However, as you can see, it only went down by one. This little number next to it is added by the Steam DB extension, so you won't have this number here. Things may look a little bit different for you, but regardless, there's a Remove button. Simply click it, and that free game will be removed from your account. However, we can simplify this a ton with a little bit of automation. In the description down below, you'll find a link to code or functions, GitHub, something like that. It should be easy to spot. Essentially, there's two different commands that we'll be copying and pasting. Hit Control Shift and I or F12 or right click and click Inspect Element, then head across to the Console tab where inside of here we can paste some commands. The first command, which is this one over here, starting with var app IDs, this one grabs all of the app IDs from this page here that contain trailer, teaser, demo, cinematic, Peggy, ESRB, and it throws them into this list here for removal later on. This is the first way of getting a list of games. However, if you use something like my Techno Steam Mass Idler, you may already have a list of app IDs you'd like to remove. In that case, head across to wherever you got the list, download the, say, text file that contains all of the app IDs in it, open it up, and you'll see something like this. This is what came with my Steam mass idler. You can copy all of these, head back to your console, and simply get rid of everything except for var app IDs equals square brackets. Inside of these square brackets, paste in the list of comma separated IDs and hit enter. However, if you simply run the script to grab all of the IDs from the page here, you'll see it runs through all of the games on the list, printing them out as it goes, and you can see demo right next to it if you'd like to verify that it's getting all of the correct games to remove. So, Let's go ahead and remove these from our account. The next bit of code in the description down below looks like this, remove next package. Essentially, it sends this request to Steam, which is the same as clicking remove. Then it waits for a successful response. It'll say it removed the app ID, followed by the number, and it'll queue up the next one for removal. If it hits an error, you'll see error in console. Anyways, simply hitting enter after we've got a populated app IDs list, hit enter, you'll see it starts removing app IDs one by one. Now, usually this takes a second or two each, so this is going to take a really long time, especially if you have thousands of free games and demos you're trying to remove from your account, though this does work really well and pretty reliably. It's not doing anything different other than clicking remove for you and sending the request to Steam. If we go ahead and duplicate this tab here or simply refresh, you'll see that not much changes. For example, I'll search for demo, and you can see there's 1,243. If we search here, there's a 1,257, so it's pretty much exactly the same. Why is this? Well, you need to refresh without keeping the current page cached. That means it downloads a fresh copy from Steam. Hit Control and F5 at the same time to clear the cache for the page and refresh. Then we can search for the same thing and you'll see 1176. That's already about 100 that it's run through and yes, that's pretty accurate. So the script is definitely working as intended and if we were to have a look at Steam, 
probably see things disappearing slowly, otherwise you'll need to quit Steam entirely and restart it in order for things to update properly. Though you can see things are disappearing one by one and the list seems to be scrolling up. Let me scroll all the way down here. Yes, you can definitely see things are disappearing as they're supposed to be, which is great. Demos are slowly being removed from my account. So I'll of course leave this going and it'll take maybe 10 minutes to finish removing, say a thousand or so games, but that's really all you need to know. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.